Okay, everybody, welcome in. Welcome from my head. <laughs> uh, we're gonna sketch again on paper today um, because, yes, I feel like I got time, uh, a little more time, and I'm alone, so nobody's gonna disturb me. It rarely happens, but just in case. Um, should, should I zoom in a little more? Hold on. Maybe I should zoom in a little bit. Yes. Eh, probably better. Okay, this is my favorite, favorite zebra pen. Uh, this might be a little too much, actually. So, um, I'll get some reference here, which you cannot see, because I'm not geared up for that. <laughs> uh, I should have done that, but um, I didn't. So, <clears throat> let's start. Um, a little far away, actually, from the pad. I am pretty cold. I didn't draw at all today, so let's uh, let's get going. I've got a, a lion lion s head here, and let's start with it. Oh, hello, casual. Hey, what's going on? What is up? So right now I'm just trying to set various proportions. I'm holding my pen up so that I can get plumb lines, basically, horizontals and verticals. Now, why am I drawing felines? Because I am not very good at drawing felines. So, I'm going to start with something easier for me that's a face or a, a lion head. Because I've drawn it a few times, so it's a little easier than other stuff. Well, we can get, we got about almost two hours, so I should be able to get something decent in this time, probably, hopefully. Heck, we might even do some portraits sometime, I don't know, some like figure drawing. Because now that I have the camera, I also, I could stream uh, charcoal drawing as well. So, that would be interesting. Although we need a slightly different setup because I cannot prop the the board I use for charcoal up here. Okay, so this is too long. There you go. This goes here. And then the other side. We got ear. The ear stays here. A little lower. Hey, fruit punch. Yeah, we might try. We might try one of these days. I'm uh, very curious. It's been so long since I used charcoal. Should probably try that again because so now the skull would be something like this here goes kind of goes around here. Uh, I think the orbicularis is down here, then it goes, it goes up here, like there's a muscle that pulls in this direction. That's why you get this sort of crease in the middle. And then you got this. I'm trying to remember just off the top of my head, I cannot, I did not memorize the feline anatomy so far. Unfortunately, so hey, I might even. You know what? Do I have? Yeah, uh, zero point three. I was using. I think I might. I might ink this one. 
Oh, this is blue. Oops. Uh, I need a point three. Oh, okay, I can use a blue, I guess. So, who cares? Uh, just because the inking gets me in the right, in the right mood for uh, other drawings, because <laughs> it's pretty precise. And I will be like hunching over this, but I'm not gonna do it. I probably should get a little closer than this. So this is a little too far now. So what can I do? This, I might be, let's see. Yeah, this is also pretty. So plumb line to the ear. Should actually, the eye should actually start here. So I started it too close. And so I'm gonna have to adjust it, doesn't matter. Just sketching, so. Obviously in pencil or charcoal, whatever, I would be able to adjust it far more easily. But I cannot erase the pen, so just run with it. Yeah, you know what, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna make this one. And I'm always trying to remember that there is, <clears throat> there's both sides, right? So I cannot just draw this eye and then go wherever I want with the other. They're actually connected. So I'm, I'm using a, basically an adapted version of the Riley rhythms to figure out where the other eye should go. So from side to side, basically, it's always the same drill, side to side. And now they might be a little close, that they were far before, now they're a little close, but I think I'm a little happier with this. The one I had before. Um, now, it's kind of, how do you say that? It's like angry, so it's like pulling the muscles back here on the snout. And so it's gonna have, it's got this, this, all this bunched up, skin <clears throat> and I remember the orbicularis not orbicularis the um, zygomatic arch goes around here and then connects up here something like this so I forgot what's here I think it's still part of because this might be the orbicularis or uh, oculi or Akuli, technically. Um, and then maybe the Zygomatic Arch is here. I kind of forgot. It doesn't really matter that much, but just to try to remember where the various parts are. So as you guys could see, I guess, so some of you could see, I finally posted the video that I said I would make. It took me a while um, to be able to record it because I was sick, and then it took a while to uh, post, produce it, because the audio was terrible because of this mic. Oh, by the way, the mic is too far. See, I forgot the mic, so I spoke for 10 minutes, and you could probably not even hear me well. <laughs> Sorry for that. I was behind the, uh, the board, drawing board. So now, I should go down, I've got, so the skull does something like this here. where the eyes are, I got the teeth, canines, or should we call them felines because they're on a cat? <laughs> I 
guess. So it's a little too far probably. So let me see. I'm trying to measure. Uh, it's not it's like here. Because there is. Yeah, I think it should probably be something like So it's actually open here. Uh, I think it's to allow a little more airflow, as far as I can remember. So it's not just the front, but it's on the side too, a little bit. And then you got the usual. Shape here, uh, it's like a, um, Y shape, basically. I usually tend to simplify it in a Y shape. Making sure I actually know what's going on. So all these wrinkles and creases gotta make sense given the action that's going on. Doesn't have to be 100% accurate. Because I mean, who cares? It's just a cat. But it needs to be at least somewhat similar to what is going on, and, and to be to make sense, basically. As I said. Zoom in a little bit, let's see. Hey, where's the camera? There you go. It's, it's a little covered by the uh, the bar. Something like here should work. Um, yeah, there are some shadows. I cannot really avoid it because my light is there. Uh, I got another set of lights here, but uh, it's not like professional studio lighting, so and unfortunately we're gonna have to deal with the shadows. Anyway, so I forgot the name of this part, but it's got an actual name where the these little feeler things are, of which I also forgot the name because I suck with names big time. Okay, so here, just the opening, and then probably a, a masseter here, I assume, because then the in the, in the lion, the the process of the jaw goes up here. So, well, it's closed, it's like very evident. And it's got very powerful, um, what's this called, this muscle here? Uh, I don't want the side of the skull. Temporalis, temporalis muscle. is going on here. And this is this um these actually sketching sessions are long overdue because I've been neglecting studying for a long time. Uh, I, the only time I can draw something that's not work related is now, usually, so uh, at least since when I left Italy I haven't really been studying <laughs> um, anything, which is not very good. Um, 
ideally I, I would like to have at least one study session per day or three times minimum bare minimum three times a week so that I don't get too rusty and then the rest is here Here, I forgot uh, the main shape of the year, but I guess it's something like this. Also, we gotta add all this fur. So, I wanna do something like this here in the shade. Feeling here sitting on the temporal muscle? I'm not sure. No, I think it's behind. I mean, there's gotta be a hole somewhere. I forgot. Honestly, I do not remember that. But it's behind, probably. I don't think it goes through it. Because uh, the muscle is probably here. So. Likely. I should look it up. Uh, I think I'm gonna do it when I finish this uh, little s first warm up sketch. Now the angle there is like this. So just close a little closer. And the teeth. First, I think I made the eyes a little small. Maybe a little small. Can't quite tell. Yep, it's here. Probably be somewhere more like this. Usually you can kind of, when you see the skull, you can kind of trace a line from here to here. So here will be easily here, I guess. And then you got the other teeth, but I can't see them well in the photo. Then you got four incisors, I guess. And then the other. And then it goes up. There's another tooth peeking through here. And the tongue is sticking up. Out and up. I'm trying to go a little slower because I really want to... I am basically stunning right now, so... Um, I'm not just copying this, I'm actually trying to recall things I know and ingrain new things about what I'm seeing. So the next time I draw this, um, I can draw it better, hopefully. And I can um, inject some of these elements that I'm seeing into a creature that I draw. Ideally. That's the whole reason why I do this.
increase the size of the pupil just a little bit. This is not completely dark. Um, I'm gonna like the inside of the lips. I guess is kind of black, but everything else is pretty light colored, lightly colored. I might be a little, little off here. The jaw is a little too long, maybe. Just a little bit, so it looks a little off to me, at least. But it's fine. It doesn't matter. Oh hey, uh, Durarable, thank you for following, I, for some reason I cannot, I could not hear the sound, that's strange, am I hearing anything at all, let me, let me check, let me check myself, where is YouTube, let me, let me check, let me check. Yeah. Okay. I can hear. For some reason, I, I didn't hear that. But thanks for following. And welcome. Welcome in. Oops. There you go. Yeah, a little wacky, uh, a little wacky cat here. A little, a little wacky cat. I'm gonna see if we can fix it a little bit. in some areas.
Free punch. Check feel any replacement. It's far back on the head. Okay, cool. Yeah, I figured it wouldn't be on the muscle. But the muscle is here, <laughs> nonetheless. As far as I can remember, at least. Okay. Not too bad. Not too bad. Um, so, let's move to the next one. Um, okay, it's a tiger who's um, drinking. I'm not sure I want to do this. Let's do this one. It is a tiger uh, again. <laughs> hey, AJ, what's up? It's a tiger that it's uh, climbing a rock. It looks like a zoo to me. It looks like a zoo. Okay, um, different approach, obviously. Let's move this out of the way. Maybe too far. It's like this. I think this pan is dying. It's starting to feel a little unresponsive. Uh, I should have the cartridge, um, like a backup cartridge. Uh, oops, somewhere. Not, probably not here. Uh, yes. But um, no. Oh. oh god, I don't think it's here. Actually, oops, I don't think it's here. Hey Jay, what's up? We're just. Um, chill, just doing some. Chores, how are you? Congrats on your mentorship lunch. Thank you very much. Uh, I'm okay. I was sick um, until a couple days ago, and now I'm feeling a little better. Um, I don't think my voice is ever going to be normal <laughs> while I'm here, but um, I guess there is that. Damn, don't die. Oh, no, no, no. no. I don't want to have to use the pencils, because I wrote... That's, that should be embarrassing, because I wrote Bob Point in, uh, in the stream. Uh, title <laughs> so so this is the body it's a, it's a body obviously it's a full body image it's not just it's not just the head like I did a, a while ago let's see how it goes I'm not liking how this pen is behaving <laughs> it's really dying on me it's dying, no. It, it's, it's supposed to do that to a degree, like the um, sometimes I don't draw thing, but this is a little too much. This is a little too much. I gotta grip it a little closer, I don't like it. So what I'm doing right now is basically the gesture. Uh, those of you familiar with traditional drawing, uh, Figure on it. It's basically the same thing. So basically the same. I have to actually push a little too much on this. You know what? Let's see if I can. Use another one of the 20,000 pins I have here. Attempt to get charcoal, I guess. <laughs> Not on this paper, though. I've got uh, a ton of newsprint uh, that I got a few years ago. And it's a little tattered because humidity <laughs> in Japan. Uh, it sucks, but it's better than nothing, I guess. I got close to this, this is a little more. Oof, this feels so bad because it's so light. But you can see it flows better. That's how the other pen should flow too. And it's a zebra too. It's a zebra rubber 80. Made in, made in Japan. <laughs> and they're pretty good. Okay, they don't do many things well, but stationary, man. 
stationary is the best thing here. Totally, 100%. Best stationary stuff ever. I'm not even going to try to remember all these muscles, I just know a few, so I'm going to do that. I'm going to use those I know. I know there should be a shoulder girdle here. And technically I could do all the construction, but I'm going to, just going to keep it simple for now and then I'm going to add the construction on top. The ears are here. The ears are here. And then we got two landmarks. The skull then it goes down. Probably turns here and then goes down this way. Might be a little small actually, this small side here. That's a pretty pretty bulky tiger actually. I do like this one pin. Uh, I, the reason why I don't use it is because it's not rechargeable, so I can't really find. Um, I can buy another one. Obviously now that I'm here I can. But usually I'm not here, so I try to preserve what little ink I have. But I guess this is a special, this is a special occasion. Um, it, technically, the other one should draw pretty much like this, but not at the stage of depletion it is in, obviously. And I believe I may even go a little larger here. So the pose is kind of tricky because I would have the, the neck comes in like this. This obviously goes something like that. It bends here. Then here we would have the usual saddle shape, so something like that. And then let me see. I think it kind of goes this direction, but the back is all different because it should be split. So pretty much something like that. It's a little incomprehensible right now, uh, but I know what I'm doing. I promise. Hey Joey, what's going on? Welcome in. Oh, mini god, one two three four. Thanks for subscribing. I guess it's on. YouTube? Subscribe, probably. Welcome in, and feel free to join the chat if you're watching this video. <laughs> so yeah, it's a, a kind of a oversized cat. <laughs> Drawing from reference, reference, obviously. Now, I don't see the end of the tail, so I'm just gonna make it up. I don't really care. So I know the hips are kind of here, somewhere, somewhere here, and then the bone should, like the femur should go down in this direction, right? I still have sniffles, but uh, they are much less than they used to be, so that's good. Currently trying to brainstorm about the community challenge run. Cool! You got anything in mind? I 
I'm not even going to try to remember the muscles for now. In the next one, probably. But this one is still... It's still kind of warm up. Even if I've been streaming for almost, what, 40 minutes? I think it's 40 minutes. I think I got a bone here. And the other one is here, so... The angle, and it's something like that. Oh, I, I, I was definitely so in this one. I was definitely suffering from the fact. I don't know if it's, let me see. Yeah, it's not even drawing anymore. <laughs> this one is <laughs> completely different. Will a wisp with a bus? So uh, at the moment, nothing solid. I see. Well, I mean, you can. Yeah, it's digital. You can always change it to make it a little more um, foolish. Because that's just a will-o'-wisp, so it it doesn't. I feel like it doesn't resonate with the theme enough. If you know what I mean. Without trying to be depressing. <laughs> So the scapula should probably be something. I think the muscles are depressed here, so this is a tricep. Probably. Probably. I'm gonna take my word for that. It's kind of easier to tell volumes on the tiger, obviously, because it's got stripes, so it's like a natural uh, cross contouring. Okay, I'm saying no drawing, so anything helps. Ah, uh, cool. Yeah, it's it's pretty good. Um, it I just feel like it's not 100% within the specs, like of the you know tarot card thing. So this would be. Uh, the gastrocnemius poles here. Then there is, a, I'm pretty sure there's a muscle that goes like to the front of the tibia. <clears throat> and then there is one that goes behind the gastrocnemius, but I can't just remember what it is. Man, it's, it's so windy, I've got a sore throat today. Or a raspy throat, rather. Let me see, I think I went a little too far with that. It was a little closer. Something like that. You know what, I might, let me, let me get a, a little anatomical reference. So, um, I think I had some feeling anatomy stuff. Um, um, I think I had the, yeah, I had a digital version too. I got a bunch of photos and references and whatnot. I'm not gonna go scouting for the actual one that I was thinking about because it's gonna take me time, but this one should, let me see. Uh, you can't see it obviously because it's on my screen and right now you can't see my screen. No, not interested in the horse. I want... What? I went back to the beginning. No, I want a cat. Is it a... No, it's a bear. I want a cat. There you go. Okay. No keys. Feline. Cross section. Perfect. All right, let me see. Um, that's a neat cat. So that was the tricep. And then we got the scapula. 
going. I think it's going there. I think the scapula is going in this direction. And then this is all neck. I've seen a kind of boxing stance. <laughs> Kinda. Yeah, the point is that there is a rock here. It's just. Trying to climb on the rocks. Basically. That's what it's doing. It's not boxing. <laughs> it could be though. It could be. Let's go, boxing cat. Boxing tiger. Well, the tiger man, you know. That was a wrestler, though. You remember Tiger Man? Maybe, maybe not if you're younger. It's a, it's an anime from the seventies, something like that, I believe. I, I know it because in Italy they would air stuff that was pretty old all the time, so. Tiger Man was one of these things. And so on and so forth. <laughs> I mean, look at those arms. That cat is buff. It is buff. It's a big cat. They're not accidentally called big cats. Okay, I have the stripes. The striations, too. Looks like a wolf. <laughs> Give him the face. Probably too small. A little too small. Uh, the ears are too large. Totally. And the run behind can be its JoJo stance. Why not? <laughs> Why not? Jojo Tiger, this tiger's name Jojo, and she's a very, a very angry and loud tiger. I'm not really interested in drawing all the stripes uh, but I'm gonna draw some of them because otherwise it kind of looks like a bear to me <laughs> right now because <laughs> the I think probably because of the ears and the, <laughs> and the way I angled 
the face. It does look a little bit like a bear. So yeah, I was just want to say that too. Yeah, it looks like a bear tiger. It's a it's a bear tiger. With a broken eye at this point. Oops. You know, it's had a scar on the eye. <laughs> uh, yeah, the face is too small. I lost track of the details. It's fine. Anyway. It's, it's good enough. I just wanted to get the body uh, done, pretty much. Let's do figure out the volumes, like here. One, two, and then this goes three, four. I'll call it out this. That's, the, that's what I was interested in. Otherwise, I would draw it larger. There's no way I'm gonna get a decent tiger face of that size. <laughs> Not with pen, at least. Maybe with a pencil, yeah. Can I can redraw it. Um, but not with the pen. Not me. I know that's skilled. Hair zoom. Oh yeah, this. <laughs> yeah, I have a bit of a contraption set up here. It's kind of jerry rigged together. Um, it's it's a little weird. It's not a stable or permanent rig that I have to stream the stuff. So. Not to be rude, but your hand is surprisingly soft. What do you mean by soft? It's kind of bony, actually. Oh, like... Bones. Soft is definitely not something that pertains to me usually. <laughs> no, not really. So tell me what you mean, please. Alright, that's enough. Eh, no, maybe not. I'm gonna add a couple more. I'm making them up, just, just making sure that. I get the correct um, indication of the of the flow of the rhythms, basically. <clears throat> Cat jelly beans, kind of soft. Hmm. Really? Not sure. I don't know. Is it? <laughs> it's bony, really. Uh, maybe it doesn't. You know what? It 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 looks red for some reason. In the, I think it's a camera because it's like kind of beautifying it because it's not, like not at all. Uh, it's all like full of like it's, it's broken basically. It's all full of cuts and it's and it's whitish in, in reality. It's not <laughs> soft looking at all. I don't know why, but the camera is uh, pretty fine. My my hands, that's cool. That's cool because it's the only thing you see. <laughs> that and. Uh, in the uh, drawing. So I don't want to keep drawing uh, tigers. Well, I mean, the first one, the previous one was not a tiger. I think it was a lioness. Well, what happened to this lion here? Jesus. 
<laughs> filter, hashtag filter, yeah. Uh, there is a, a blind lion, no. Uh, I don't want to draw a blind lion. Um, this one is not... This one I think it's from... Uh, the Lunatic Dragon. Uh, no. Okay. Okay, this one is going the opposite direction. Maybe I should draw something that's a little more... Oh, there you go. Is it a snow... Leopard? I believe. Let's see if I can see the image. Yes. Some sort of snow leopard. It looks a little more like a cat. So let's go. <clears throat> I need to crack my knuckles every now and then. And my elbows. I'm trying to sit as straight as I possibly can. Hey Samuel, hello. Welcome in. <laughs> Apologies for the sniffles. Okay, let's see if I do I have space here. Huh. Let me zoom out. Zoom out because I'm running out of space I want to drop. Because I got some space on top. So and then kind of Let's see if... Yeah, it's a little bit off screen. Let's see if I can... How am I doing? I'm a little better. Uh, the cold is mostly gone. How are you doing? Yeah, but my, my, I don't think my voice is going to go back to 100% normal like when I was in Italy while I'm here. Because it's you know, a shitty country. <laughs> Made in Japan. I gotta try to see uh, when I when I draw digitally. I, I don't care about being clean because I can always erase and whatnot. Uh, doing do, drawing on paper humbles you a lot because you will have to be cleaner. And I'm noticing right now that I'm way dirtier than I used to be because I've been drawing almost exclusively digitally for. A year or so. So it's not good. Then pretty good. Just dropping in to ask when we will continue the little collab. Uh, I don't know <laughs> because I've got a, a huge backlog, and since I started the um, the um, the mentorship, I got some students now already. So some streams will skip, I'm not sure at the moment. Uh, you can just draw something if you want and, uh, and post it. Yeah, but to do it live it might take some time. Because um, I, I really want to try to make those creatures, like do that to my portfolio too, first. Thank you, Joey. Thank you very much. I still have spots available, but uh, they are filling in, so I'm, uh, I was pleasantly surprised, actually. I didn't think it would take so little. <laughs> so, that's pretty cool. Yeah, as I wrote on the website, I actually do like teaching a lot. Um, I, I did, actually, I did offer mentorship when I was in Italy for a while, but it was not public. Like, uh, I, I, I wrote it on Instagram a little bit, and so I only had one person, and apart from the people that I mentored before, uh, not officially. All right, see you, Samuel. See you next time.
Ooh. Dude, gotta be careful how I move here. Is <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna take a photo of this and maybe I will post it in the Discord. In fact, I will take a photo later when I finish streaming because it's you're gonna see how encapsulated I am between the <laughs> the contraption thing that I uh, set up. It, it's quite a it's quite a looker <laughs> in terms of contraptions. It, it is quite a contraption. If you have a male contraption, it's a female contraption. So feel 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 free to notify me, and we will arrange an appointment or a date for them. <laughs> okay, now I think. Let me see. No. Um, No, they're pretty good. The poles are pretty good. So I think the perspective is like slightly slanted. No, uh, it's just the terrain that's slanted. Perspective is straight. Is it a dino? No. <laughs> No, it's a cat. It's a snow leopard, I think. Where is the other... Man, I cannot see the other leg. It's somewhere... Some got lost somewhere, I'm not sure where. So, because one is here, so this is what the shoulders do. No, a little too much, maybe. And so, scapula probably here. Something like that. So, no, <laughs> it's not a dinosaur. It could be, but it's not. And it ends up... I exaggerated this because I wanted to make it clear. Ends up here. Big fluffy tail. Look at that. It's got a lot of fur, man. It's a, it's a furry... Furry... Cat. Furry cat, furry cat. No, that's no that smelly cat. For those of you who are old enough to remember friends, Fluffy cat. Fluffy cat is better than furry cat. It sounds better than furry cat. I don't like furries. Not one bit. Uh, I think the... Okay. Yeah, we got some muscles here. The problem I always have with felines, obviously, and most of the other heavily furry animals, is that I can't quite tell what's going on most of the time, so studying them is a little harder than I wish it was. Oh, we still have time today, so no big deal. I'm not running out of time today. Uh, this one, this one looks more. And this, 
this fashion, it kind of looks more like a monkey. <laughs> the other was a bear, this one's a monkey. So I'm trying anything but felines today. There you go. <laughs> Godzilla. <laughs> Who did that? <laughs> Joey did. <laughs> yeah. Next next one's gonna be Godzilla. Godzilla cat. A Godzilla cat. Let them fight to the death. It didn't fight to the death, brother. To the death. You know what, this simplification that I so unholily, unholily adopted, it doesn't really suit my needs, so I might just abandon it. Um, this really looks awful. The face here, I need, a, I need a bigger, I need more room for this. Way more room, look at the freaking hideous his face that came out. It sure is humbling to draw on paper. Most of the time. I think the head is a little too small anyway. Anyway, look at the lemur, lemur uh, leopard. <laughs> Thing. Not going to lie, when I watch you draw and see what you created on stream, always make me want to do it as well. Uh, do it! <laughs> do it. There's a lot of bad drawings like these uh, to, to make some decent ones. I mean, this one was not too bad, in fact. This one was okay. Okay, let's move to the next one. If I could find my damn it where are they uh i had um, so I, I took a course with with um brainstorm um and so i i had some notes ah oh, there you go that's a tiger okay i found it <clears throat> this is a feline too. Anyway, this is complicated. Because I'm, I was looking for my um, uh, the breakdown of the various uh, key points, basically the anchor points you can use. There you go. <clears throat> to figure out the various elements, basically, that go into the, the drawing. And the position of the relationship between parts. Let me see, I should probably also have some better. Let me see. Uh, we two work in progress. That was my drawing. Even though I'm not that good, I still enjoy drawing them. That's fine. I mean, uh, also, it's it's always a journey. Uh, you can see these uh, these are pretty these are pretty bad overall. Uh, but it's fine because they're sketches. Doesn't matter, and uh, and you're, you're gonna get better. Uh, there's always someone who's gonna be worse than you, and someone who's gonna be better than you, at any given time. So there's nothing to worry about, I believe. Okay, uh, no, I'm gonna use a photo. Oh, there you go. This one's a little better. Uh, yeah, I forgot to set up so that you can see them. I uh, apologize for that. At, at some point, I will do it. I will. 
do it. <sighs> no, can I can I move this? Eh, no, because there's you got the mic there. Damn. Come on, camera. A little camera shouldn't defocus. Okay, I'm gonna try to go a little faster now because I wanna try to get a little more in the rhythm of things. And usually I go pretty bad when I when I start slowing down. I use like a medic arch here. So Proportions are a big problem here, uh, especially since I s just completely stopped drawing from reverence. I'm just going off on a tangent when it, when I started out. This one is a throw it away. This doesn't work. I'm gonna redo it here on the side. Sometimes it's just like that. And I tend I so usually I tend to try to adjust the drawing, but if I see that it starts wrong. I'm not gonna bother trying to fix it. I don't really care that I don't. I'm not so precious about it to want to fix it at any cost. It doesn't work. I just do it in another in another place. Redo it. It's very fine. these days I'll probably do one that's not on white paper but on the kind of tinted paper. It's a koala. <laughs> yeah. This is a koala. There you go. Got the entire zoo at this point. It does look like a koala a little bit. Get a boxing cat, a dino, and a koala. Dino monkey, please. It's a dino baboon monkey thing. <laughs> you know what? We might even we. I, I got an idea. I'm gonna I'm gonna turn these into something now. So before the end of the stream, I'm gonna turn these into monsters. Let's see how it goes.
Angry Claw, look at that. Look at the angry face. He's like, hey, you're gonna mess with me, bro. You're freaking gonna mess with me. No chance, bro. I should have given it a little more of a curve, probably, but it's okay. At least this one kind of looks like a cat at this point. Crawler doing the Jacko pose? No. <laughs> it's just a koala chilling here. And doing koala, usual koala things like smelling, eating their parents' poop, <laughs> and so on and so forth. <laughs> what a disgusting creature, the koala. Jesus. Gross, gross creature. It looks cute, but it's not. <laughs> For one who knows about koalas, and I know about koalas, they're pretty disgusting. Things. I completely failed to figure out what the, the various uh, the various elements were here. Anyway, let's do so. We got an arm. I can't see the scapula A here. Uh, we got something here. Uh, we got the box, the, basically the box of the of the head, and this would be something like that. It's actually cracking. It's causing cracks in the in the ground because it's so powerful. What happened to my phone? My phone. Ads keep showing. Oh. Oh, keep showing you laptops. It's time for a new laptop, I guess. It's time for a new laptop. <laughs> okay, for this one, I'm gonna try to construct it. Oops, sorry, yeah, I guess I hit the mic. Uh, I'm gonna go back here. Here. Lower your can I guess. Look, you're gonna say that's a horse now. With a short, short neck. It's a horse with a short neck. Look, got you a horse pose. Push. Do you always start with gesture? Yes. Uh, mm, yes and no. Mostly. Mostly, yes. Mostly. 
mostly I would say yeah 90% of the times yes like even if I draw a head like it didn't distort it with the, well okay you could say it's construction for the head I guess it, it is a construction for the head uh, but construction and gesture are very similar for the head itself so it's Although technically, I do not exactly do a construction, I do like Riley rhythms, so that's kind of half gesture, you know. If you want to draw an actual head. <laughs> It's Charlie, Charlie the Train? You mean Thomas? <laughs> you mean Thomas? Because I don't know the characters, but I only know Thomas. And I hate Thomas. Uh, very much. <laughs> I forbid my son from watching Thomas, actually. Although it wasn't very much on YouTube in any case, so it's not like it was a huge deal. <laughs> Come on, it's creepy! It is freaking creepy. Thomas, yes, okay, yeah. Thomas the train. Thomas the mob train. <laughs> what is Thomas the train exactly? Explain it to me, please. It's a, it's a monstrosity. Let's, let's be honest. Let's be completely honest with ourselves. Thomas the train is a monstrosity. And who, who is the sick person who came up with that idea? <laughs> I mean, why did you slap a face on a train? Please. <laughs> it's like slapping a face on a rocket or something. Uh, do you let your kids watch Teletubbies? No, but they, they don't... I, I, they never found the Teletubbies. I did watch Teletubbies when I was a kid, and I regret it so much. Because that's also very scary. <laughs> um, so anyway. So this one I'm just constructing, obviously, as you can see. I'm mostly constructing. And very little... Very little... Um, yeah, this should probably be a little more like that. Uh, very little using the gesture at this point. That's a, this is a muscle, not a bone, by the way. And then there are other muscles in this one here. And then here, so I always had a problem here figuring out, because it goes down first, the wrist goes down, and then you got this kind of, it's something like this, here. Teletubbies are weird too, yes, for the punch, they're weird. Uh, oh, I don't have space anymore to go up, so you're going to have to live without the foot there. I'm sorry. <laughs> And then, how is the writ? Jesus, this is strange. Okay, I think it's doing something like this. And then curving in something like that. Bob the Builder, uh, the only guy with the animated tools. <laughs> Aren't they? Are they not all British, by the way? Yeah, I would have to move in front of the mic. So I know. <laughs> I got, um, yeah, next time I'm gonna get A4 sheets. This is an A3. Uh, do I prefer this paper because it's smooth? Butter smooth? Probably not the best for uh, doing this kind of thing. So there's snow here. I'm, I would have to invent the foot. Back 
back there. And the neck, now the neck goes up, it attaches here, it goes up, and then attaches to the back of the head. The back of the head is like super thick. And it goes down to here, I guess. much the construction of a tiger. Oh, uh, moving to the next one, and then I'm gonna do one more, and then I'm gonna change these up <laughs> a little bit. It looks like a monkey with a hook! Oh god. <laughs> yeah, it's not, it's not a good day today, I guess. <laughs> it's okay, it's gonna get better the more you do. <clears throat> I actually knew how to draw felines before I stopped drawing them. And then I stopped drawing them, this is what happens. Let's see. Um, this is not. This is a bird. Why is it showing me a bird? Damn. Okay, fighting lions. Can I get a bigger version of this? No. Maybe here. Angry lions sound good. Kenya. Yeah, go watch Angry Lions in Kenya. Do we have a No, well, it's not even the, the website. Cats with wings, I guess. You could call them cats with wings. Um, hmm. uh, okay, I'm gonna zoom in this. I'm gonna make up the details, it's fine in any case. So, um, can I... You know what, what if I move this? Sorry for the noise. Okay, I'm gonna move it here. Hopefully you can still hear me clearly enough. Hopefully. Alright, let's do this. I didn't draw it all today because I was finishing up the video, so it kind of sucks. When I don't draw during the day and it, it, it gets evening, man, it's, it becomes really hard to do. Where's the tail? Oh, the tail is here. Cool. And this. I guess the weed is planted front. These lions have a big head, for sure. It's a beaver! <laughs> what a day. 
It is a beaver. It's funny though, the more I draw these and the easier it becomes, so I'm kind of actually despite what looks like maybe on the paper because it's it's a pan so it's very crappy. Um, I am I feel like we're more confident now than when I started today. Cause it's it had literally been ages since when I studied felines properly. Picola broke the beaver home and now it's angry. <laughs> yes. It might, that that's gotta be what happened. That that is absolutely what happened actually. That is absolutely freaking lovely what must have happened here. Turn around a little machining. So I'm gonna finish the photo here and then I'll do what I promised. Not trying to make a lure with drawing. It's cool. Feel free to. <laughs> I like that part of drawing. Uh, in fact, I have a friend um, who likes to do the same thing, and so sometimes we it, it, we are we are childhood friends. Uh, he was a he's been a friend of mine since when we were six, and uh, and sometimes like he sees things. Like, oh, hey, there's a mole like right here. And he comes up with a story, like, uh, about the king mole and all the serpent moles <laughs> might be living there. <laughs> it's pretty awesome to be around him. A very creative person. He's not an artist, but he's very creative, you know. This one looks. This one is a little better. It's, it's getting. It's getting closer. His real life chat GPT kind of. He's really fun. Uh, he's really fun. Really fun. I don't. I don't want to draw the other lion though. It kind. It's kind of lame. If collab went well, he doesn't speak English though, <laughs> and he doesn't draw. Unless you want a 100% Italian stream. Also, he's got a baby daughter like me. <laughs> he's uh, well, it's the first for him, so he's pretty busy. <clears throat> uh, I'm gonna have to draw this here. Uh, it's all okay here. There you go. Enough space, probably, hopefully. Oh, I can actually see the. I in this one, I can totally see the construction because it's it's very clear. I can totally see the, the scapula there. 
Oh no. I hit the koala. What happens? Joy. What happens? Tell us. Tell us. What happens now that I hit the koala with the other lion? I mean, uh, what was this? A beaver. This is another beaver I guess they're fighting. Maybe this beaver stands up for the koala, who knows. Go figure various strange animal relationships. It's a kangaroo! <laughs> it's a kangaroo, look at that. It's absolutely a kangaroo. There you go. You got your kangaroo. Or, or a dinosaur of some sort. Hail to the king. It's an iguanodon. <laughs> I thought it was a snake popping out from the rock. No. Sadly, no. It's an iguanodon. <laughs> or some other kind of dinosaur. Sorry, you were mistaken this time. Huh. Oh, oh, oh. You are mistaken, sir. Mistaken. No, it's a kangaroo. I promise. It's, it's gotta be a camera. Because these are all contemporary animals, right? No dinosaur. No one on whatever. No, it's a kangaroo. It's just a lamp from the back, right? It looks like. <laughs> Something weird. I don't know what it looks like. A chimera, yeah. Or a chimera. A chimera. Chimera. Kamari. Kamari Ronzo. A chimera. Oh, my brain is leaving me. It's abandoning me. It's getting late. It's uh, it's some sort of monkey, I don't know. I can actually tell there is a uh, the lad here, so. I drew it. <clears throat> it looks like a gorilla. <laughs> yes. There you go. Now it's some sort of red lava monster. So let's just. Uh, we're about to close, so I'm gonna. No, it's a baboon. It's a baboon, I guess. Some sort of baboon. Okay, so let's uh, change some of these, like this one. Uh, this one. Uh, this one is gonna have thicker muscles, I guess, like humanoid. Look, it's got deltoids, <laughs> and it's got you mess with the beaver clan, fool. Grilla shouted as a twerk. <laughs> so it's more like you mess with the beaver clan, fool. The gorilla shouted as a twerk. And now this is a, a person with a utility belt. 
it's got a utility belt here. So it's got like Batman's belt. You know, with the pouches and whatnot. And maybe it is Batman. Maybe... Maybe it is. <laughs> it's a, it looks like a bear <laughs> dressed up like Batman now. <laughs> And it's got. Alright, so these are gonna be the gloves. Batman X Monkey, yeah, that's right. There you go. <laughs> it looks more like a Batman dog or strange. What's that called? Red Panda? <laughs> Kinda. It doesn't look like a cat though. It looks like I think the the head is too small. That's why it doesn't. <laughs> um, and this one, yeah, this one is gonna become. This one is gonna be. It's gonna. Oh, it's gonna have a horn here. Two horns. And these are the eyes, actually. And this is the mane. It's got a mane. Why not? thicker muscles for this too and the hands are gonna be more claw like it's got one claw and then it's got the other is like normal and it's gonna circle here for some reason no no reason just a circle and it's got like something here in the back I'm not sure exactly what it is but it is something you bet it is The head reminds me of Warframe. It, yeah, it kind of does. Not not intentional, but it kind of does. You're right. Today is it's gotta be the day where everything reminds any, anyone else of something else. <laughs> We're monkey, monka. We're monka, monka. Sounds cool. Okay, anyway. I think I'm gonna have to go. Uh, this is what we did today. I think the first one was pretty cool, despite being more like a, a, a warm up. The others, I mean, this this one line here is not too bad. The other is kind of lame, but we we turned them into something usable still. Let me, let me finish this thing.
Hi, the only human. Who said it's human? Maybe it's got some horns here. There you go. Actually, that does probably. And uh, it's got a strange, strange hair. <laughs> and it's a vampire also. And it's got a scar. <laughs> okay, anyway. Um, yeah, I think that's it for today. Thanks everybody for tuning in. Uh, I was about to, but it's not that pen. This is that, so I will do it here. Um, do I have anyone to raid on Twitch? I do not, so. Uh, yes, thanks a lot for joining me. And I think we're gonna do so when, when is it gonna? Not tomorrow. Probably on Monday. We may do this. Enjoy myself today. Cool. Yeah, I enjoy too. Thank you very much for the fun. Um, it might be Monday or Tuesday. So when I can stream next time. Probably gonna continue digitally though. Um, we'll see. So, thanks again everybody. And I will see you next time. Take care.